Okay, I um, played around with your kitchen design a little bit more. Added some tall storage. You might want to have a landing area here if you wanted to. With a wall cabinet and a base cabinet the same depth as this tall storage. But if you prefer to have all this tall storage, that's fine. Each one of these cabinets are, I think, 33 wide by 84 high. Then I've centered the bench seating and put a cubby hole inside. You can put shoes in there. Centered it on the window. This would have rollout trays, this cabinet here, to the left of your stove. Then we have a vent hood over the stove. And then this cabinet here is the same width as this cabinet here with a drawer and rollout trays, two of them. And this is a blind corner cabinet, and what I would do is put a tray that looks something like this, and then it swings out. It swings out from this door, and then you have a working drawer. You can see the various wall cabinets. Right now I have this wall cabinet at a 90 degree angle. I can also make this wall cabinet what they call a diagonal wall cabinet, and it's at a 45 degree angle. So you get a little more storage out of it. Dishwasher, sink base, trash pullout, I believe. I think that's what that is. Let's take a look. Yes, it's a double trash pullout. Super lazy Susan in the corner. The super lazy Susan would have two trays that are shaped like this. And they spin it independently of each other probably the best use of the corner. The trays would um, historically Lazy Susans have a a pole going down the middle of them. Well this doesn't. This doesn't have a pole. The tray fit, sits on a fixed shelf. And we've got a corner cabinet, a 90 degree corner cabinet here. Again I can make this a diagonal wall cabinet if you want to. A uh, small base cabinet for cookie sheets and we have the refrigerator with panels on either side of the refrigerator wall cabinet above the end of the peninsula here we have a drawer two doors behind the two doors are rollout trays now the other side of the peninsula, I think your doors today are right over here. I can I can change this so it is that's so that's the case. But if I situate the doors over here, I can make the cabinet wider. Over here, I can only make it 24 inches wide and 24 inches deep. Over here, I've got a 39 inch wide by 12, 20 by 24 inches deep. Let me make sure of that. Yes, 39, 39 wide, 24 inches deep. So by reconfiguring this storage I can I can get a bigger cabinet 
in there. You can see the crown molding. The idea would be to have that touch the ceiling. These are 30 inch uppers. Your ceiling height is about 85 and a half inches. And the top of this cabinet, if I use 30 inch uppers, would be 84. And that gives us an approximate distance of 18 inches from the countertop to the bottom of the wall cabinet. Which is very common. One thing I haven't addressed, and I probably can, is a microwave. That's why I've got it over here. Where would I put a microwave? Well, you can put it in this base cabinet, but that would get rid of the rollout trays. If it was a real small microwave, we might be able to get it over here in this wall cabinet on a shelf got plenty of room, room to put a microwave over here on a wall cabinet with a shelf that might be look a little strange I think I'd want to tuck it away in the corner so you couldn't see it unless you want it to uh, make it a little easier to access or we could get rid of one of these wall cabinets or these tall cabinets here put a landing area and then a microwave uh, microwave uh, wall cabinet here so that probably that's probably the only thing that I am not addressing is the microwave there might be a few other things that you have in mind as well you'd like to change and by all means I'd be happy to explore any suggestions you have.